good morning or maybe it's good afternoon so one of those groups that I belong to is um, unisex it's for older people and this one man a very nice man has a girlfriend or maybe had a girlfriend long term for quite a few years and he told a story that um, she was a wonderful person but happened to suffer with I believe I'm not 100% sure but it seemed like he um, said or inferred that she had borderline personality disorder and narcissistic personality disorder and he said most of the time she was wonderful but um, when she had like episodes I don't know if she was on meds things would be terrible and he said, but like, you know, he, he knew her for years. He was with her for years. And he felt that the good times outweighed the bad. And he put up with it, you know, or dealt with it, whatever you want to say. And he said, so this has been going on for years. And he recently found out that on, on, in addition to that, she had been maintaining a relationship with an ex-boyfriend and he believed that in addition to everything she was unfaithful sleeping with the ex-boyfriend on a regular basis for years and he just couldn't take it anymore and he broke up with her you know which <laughs> is understandable and um he said now the smear campaign came and that she started contacting and I don't know if it was phone or email or text or both his boss he's not yet retired his boss and even his therapist saying all these things about him that were lies and they've known him for years so they've known her for years and he said that like it's really sad that like you know they know what's going on and they know not to take her you know um, that that she's having an episode or whatever but he said it's really sad to watch that and I thought to myself how sad is that that if what he says is true he he breaks up with her and now she's contacting his boss and his therapist what does your job have to do with breaking up with a long-term girlfriend? That's crazy. Now, I'm also going off of that what he says is true. He could be the one that's a borderline and the narcissist and been gaslighting her all these years. And now he's making her nuts and she's like warning them. I, I, that went through my head too. See, I don't believe, when people tell me things, um, maybe about their past or their current thing or whatever, I don't always believe them because I found out like 90% of the times that what people tell you is their um, point of view, but not necessarily other people's point of view, and that you have to, um, take it from multiple sources and multiple points of view um, and even if it seems fairly evident that someone's a certain way there's always um, what do they say reasonable doubt you know not always but I leave room for reasonable doubt until I know all the facts and have seen it because you could have an emotionally volatile person or sensitive person that isn't doing anything really terrible and they trust someone they're trusting and kind if that's how they've been raised and myself included and you know you get close to someone and um, they manipulate and then finally you kind of see like you know wow I participated in enabling this person and now I need to step back and then that other person starts with the crazy making so in other words what he's saying to me is most likely true and he's not saying it to me he's saying it to the whole group but to me I say it's probably true but there is a possibility that it's the other way around and that it's her that has been the, the rock 
and he's the one doing the training because after all, he's in a group spilling his guts and I don't know what she's doing, but um, I don't know, you know, you hate to judge. I mean, and these people are not in my life. They're not anyone I would ever meet. It's just a Facebook group where people tell their stories and they're older people, you know, so the um, being older has some sort of common thread. But um, things are still going on in older age that should have been put to rest by the time we graduated high school. So um, stay cool and have the day that you deserve. Bye.